Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to place a direct reply action on a notification. From Android version 7.0 onwards, we can implement a direct reply action on notifications. Basically, the direct reply action is used with some broadcast receivers. But here for training purpose, I am going to send the reply message to an activity. So I'm going to use the same example used in the previous video. So here we have a simple notification. Now we are going to place the uh, direct reply action to this notification. So first I have to create an activity that receives the message from the notification. So here I am going to create a new activity. So here I name it as remote receiver. Now in order to display the message, I am going to add a text view to this newly created activity. So here I place the needed text view. So this text view with id txt display. So this activity is going to receive the reply message from notification. Okay. Now go to main activity. So here this method is create a symbol notification. Now we are going to implement the direct reply action uh, to this notification okay so uh, first thing uh, we need some uh, string resources for identifying the message in the target activity so here i create some variable uh, final string and it as txt replay text to reply so this uh, string is used to, to identify the message on the target activity so now we can specify the code for implementing the direct reply action so first thing we have to check the current device is running on 7.0 or above so check that one first so build dot version dot sdk in greater than or equal to build dot version code dot en in that case, uh, we can implement the code for uh, direct reply action. So the first step, we have to create an object of a remote input. So create some object for remote input. New remote input dot builder. So here it need only one parameter that is the identifier for the message. So here it is text to reply. Now we have to specify a label for the text area. Here I name it as replay and finally call the build method. So now the remote input is ready. Now we have to create the target indent and we have to specify pending indent for it. So here create the indent object. I name it as replay indent. New indent. First parameter is context. Second parameter is the class name. So here the activity is remote this one remote receiver dot plus okay so now specify some flag for it so uh, replay indent dot set to flag indent dot flag activity new task indent dot flag activity clear task okay so now the indent is ready now we can specify the pending indent for it so i name it as a replay pending intent so pending in the node get the activity first parameter is context second parameter is the request code here i pass zero for it third parameter is the indent so here it is replay indent and final parameter is a flag so here i'm going to use the flag flag one shot that means this pending indent used only for once so now the remote input and the pending indent is ready. Now we need to add a button to the notification, an action button to the notification. So that is the next step. So uh, we need some action. So notification combat dot action. I name it as action. New notification combat action dot builder. 
so here the first parameter is the icon for the action so ardoth enjoyable dot here i use some icon i see notification uh, second parameter is the label on the icon so here i need as a reply and final parameter is the pending index so here it is Uh, replay pending indent so now uh, we have to add the remote input to this button so you can call this method add a remote input and pass the uh, remote input object and finally call the build method on it okay so now the action is ready now we can add the action to the notification builder object so here is the builder object so builder dot builder dot add action and pass the action so here we implement some direct reply <coughs> to the notification now we can receive the message on the activity so this activity receive the message but in in a real case in a real life application basically we use the direct reply action with a broadcast to receiver so here i send the message to an activity only for training purpose okay so here we have to display that message so create some variables for text to view and it does text to view now we can initialize that variable this txt display okay so now uh, we can get the message from the indent so create some variables for bundle i name it as remote reply so remote input dot get a result from indent and get the activity indent so now we can get the result for going to get the result check whether the object is null or not if remote a replay not equal to null in that case we can receive the message so string message equal to remote replay dot get character sequence now specify the key for the data so here it is main activity dot txt reply now type cast that one into string so now we can display the message using the text view so text view dot set to text and pass the message so after receive that message we have to close the close that notification so for that we need some variable for notification manager get system service notification service so here we have to type cast this one into a notification manager so now we can cancel that notification so notification manager load cancel so you can cancel a notification by its id so here it is main activity load notification id so now the project is ready now we can test our application so i run the project so this virtual device is running on android version 7.1.1 so in this device we can implement direct reply action so i issue the notification so here is the reply button so i click the reply button so here you can see now a text area is available so user can type a message hello from simple notification so this is the reply now i send that message so now that message available on the target activity so this is how we place direct reply action on an android notification i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode